20th century, people have been taking the night sleeper from London to Fort William in the western highlands of Scotland. The well-heeled, off-for-a-weekend stalking used it, but so did ordinary climbers and holidaymakers. They'll all miss it. The service is being stopped at the end of next month. As British Rail prepares for privatisation, it says it can't afford it anymore. ITN's David Rose has our special report. This has been called one of the most romantic train journeys in Europe. It certainly goes through some of the most glorious scenery in the world. Dawn finds the West Highlander nearing the end of its 525-mile journey. As the sun starts to thaw the late snow, the steward begins waking up the first sleeper passengers. Come in. First class costs £266 return, though cheaper deals are available. But that does include breakfast in bed, the morning paper, and a nice feeling of being spoilt rotten. Thank you. Well, I fell asleep at half past 11 last night in the English Midlands and have woken up seven hours later deep in the Scottish Highlands. As this British rail brochure says, travelling by sleeper is the most civilised and relaxing way to travel long distance. I quite agree, but it's not going to be available for much longer. 94 years of sleeper service will end in just five weeks' time. Well, I think it would be a great shame because of the, um, the scenery and the beautiful countryside that you pass through. Driving with, with large families and young children is a complete nightmare, whereas this is a fantastic romantic way of getting there. I think it's absolutely batty. British Rail stand accused of not fully marketing this unique but costly service. They claim it can never be economic. It wouldn't matter if the sleeper service to Fort William were full every night of the week. There would still be a substantial financial loss on its operation. The whole of the rationalisation that we're doing will be saving us approximately £7 million. Of that, nearly half is attributed directly to the Fort William sleeper. Across Loch Eel, Britain's tallest mountain, Ben Nevis, looms above Fort William. 60% of a local economy depends on tourism. Making it more difficult to reach this gateway to the Highlands infuriates those who've invested heavily. It's devastating. We're only a small town of 11,000 people, but we actually have 3 million visitors coming here every year. The real fear is that ending the sleeper will make the remaining West Highland services, like the Malleg Line and the Glasgow to Fort William trains, uneconomic, and that they'll eventually be closed down too. If that happens, well, you could put a gate up at Glencoe because this part won't exist and people will have to emigrate as they did in the past. And you're, you're talking about then more empty glens than there were in the Highland clearances. Quite the opposite. My principal job is to protect services that we've got. Particularly, I will be protecting all rural routes and particularly within that, the daytime services to Fort William. Between now and the sleeper's closure, a strange sight will greet motorists arriving in Fort William with warnings of an impending rail disaster. You could say, OK, what is it? Just a few people in a sleeper train. Why are you getting so worried about it? The truth is that if they get away with this, then all sorts of other services will be threatened. We see it very much as a test case. What happens today in Fort William could easily happen right throughout the land in maybe a couple of years' time. The government has promised full consultation over this closure, but the sleeper service will have ended long before that consultation process is complete. That shows it's a sham, say the train supporters, and they plan to challenge the decision in the courts.